Google Code Jam starts next week, and as an example of how to solve a problem and upload your solutions, I'm going to look at a practice problem from a previous year. One of the easiest ones to look at will be reverse words. It's a trivial problem, and it just asks you to take a string of words and reverse the words. I'm going to have a look at the Haskell, so I've already prepared a Haskell source file for this. And looking at the problem, I know I'm going to be working with lists and reversing the list. So let's import data.list to start with. And looking at this from a data-driven point of view, let's write the solution function first. So reverse words, it's going to take a string and return another string. Oh, my typing's terrible, I must be nervous. Um, the implementation, so we'll take a string and we're going to get a string and we need to turn that into a list. That's going to be words. And we're going to reverse that, so it's going to be reverse words. And we're going to turn that list of reversed words back into a string. So it's unwords. So we take a string, turn it into a list, reverse the list and put it back into a string. Um, let's do this in points freestyle, we don't really need to have the x on it. So there we go. I think that's a reasonable stab at solving the problem. Next thing we have to do is get the file into the program in the first place. So let's do some more imports. So we'll need to import IO so we can talk to the outside world and import system environment so I can get the arguments out of the program's command line. Right. Um, now the main file, so main do. Uh, first thing we're going to do is get the first argument. Point that to get args. Um, get a file from there. And make that file that we're reading, read file f. So, we pass it a file name and we read it. So, how do we get that into a list of strings that we need to work on? Uh, so, let's call them cases. So, we're going to have a list of test cases. And that's going to be equal to lines from the file. But if you look at the file input here, you see that the first line shows you the number of test cases which you don't need. So go back and we'll take the tail of it, which is everything but the first element of the of the list. So we've got cases, which is each one of which is a string for each line in the file, except the first line which is just number, which is what we want. And Let's have a look at solutions. It's basically going to be we want to apply reverse words to every string in the list. So we'll map reverse words onto cases. Should do. And now we can put the output out. Strln. Um, it's a list, so we'll need to unline it. Okay, so we read a file, we turn it into a list of lines, and for each one of those lines, we apply the solution to it. 
and then we turn that back into uh, a load of strings and we put it out to the output. Okay, so let's see if we can do that. I've already got the uh, input text from the example file already. Oops, wrong line. So input text, you can see here. So that's the text file I'm going to be working on to start with. So if I go down to here, I go run ghc, reverse words, and I pass it the input. Yeah, input text. And it's just going to put the output to the standard output. Um, in the f when I'm producing the solutions, I'll redirect it to a file. But for now, let's see what that gives us. Oops, I have a pass error on do. So let's go back to the file again. I've forgotten to put a So much for that. That's better. Go back into here and run that line again. And it works. So I can compare my output, which is test A is this, test A is this, foobar, base your all. Okay. Um, I haven't got their required format, which wants the case numbers on there. So Let's go back and see if we can do that. Um, let's create a function that gets the boilerplate. So we'll call it boilerplate. And that's going to be a list of strings. Um, what's the format? fairly common in this, um, I shouldn't know, so in case it's the same in all the CoJam problems. Oops. Case number, close the file, concatenate it onto n, which is the number, and then let's put it onto the space. Um, bind that to a list of integers. So that should give me case, hash sign, a number from one to however many items I have in the list semicolon and a space. Uh, okay, now how do we apply that to the output? I could do it straight in there. Mm. Let's do another function. Standard output, which takes a list of strings and it gives us another list of strings. It's quite simple really, it's just going to be do it points free as well. So zip with add it onto where you're doing it with and then I can go Uh, plate. Okay, so that's a partially applied function. Um, still requires one more parameter, but we can get that when we um, do the final output. So let's go down and actually update the solution for it. So I should really know how to use this better. Let's do it as Standard output. We'll apply it to that. So, I don't have to do anything. Solutions has just been remapped to something else. Save that. 
go back into my test input. And that's much better. So I have case one, test is test A is this, foo bar, basic rule. So it works on the small solution. As I said, it's fairly trivial. We don't need to worry about um, how it would work in the larger solutions. So any computer is going to be fast enough to run it. So the next stage once you once you've got your candidate solution is to look at your inputs. So you click up at the um, the files here, you get a chance to download the actual test file that you want on your program. And then when it's finished, you'll choose the file and you'll send it up to the server. I've already downloaded the uh, the small and the large files just to save time. So we can just see how it looks. GHC, first HS, B, done small input. I'm going to put this straight to the standard output just so you can see what it looks like. So all five test cases. Now, rather than do it that way, I am going to output it to small out. It's worth actually naming your small and large output separately because there has been cases in the past where people have uploaded the wrong, the wrong solution files. So if you try and name things, you'll save yourself some trouble. So cat small out. You can see I have the same solutions there. Now all I need to do is choose the file and submit it. So where did I put it? It's temp reverse words. Nope, not that one, it's this one. And it's small out. And then submit it. And it's correct. So I can move on to the large one. Again, I've already downloaded this file, so I can do the same thing again. Run GHC, reverse words. I'll do it on B large, and I'll redirect it to large out txt. And there's my file, cat large out txt. Okay, so I have a list of files, and I have the number on them. Now I just have to submit the file again. Choose file, large out. In the real competition, you'll need to upload your source files as well, but not in this case. And that's correct as well. So you can see that it's quite easy to solve these small practice problems. Um, some of the other ones are a bit harder. Um, and just for redirection, you can read in a, an input file and from a command line, and you can just outload. You can output it to the terminal where you can read it straight away or redirect it to a file which you can then upload. That's it for now. Good luck next week and maybe I'll do another one.